beauties, I'm Bianca Renee and you're watching Bianca Renee today and today is another Foundation Friday. Today's victim, I mean foundation of choice, is by Neutrogena. If you saw my last Foundation Friday, I also reviewed the Neutrogena Hydro Boost Hydrating Tint with Hyaluronic Acid. This one is actually for dewy skin. Kind of bought it on accident, I didn't really read that part because I have very oily skin, that's the last thing I need to be is dewy. But this time I'll be trying the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil Free Makeup Micro Clear Technology Blemish Treatment with Salicylic Acid. And this one is for oily skin. So right off the bat, I'm more excited to try this one over the dewy one because I have very oily skin and acne prone skin. So I always thought it was a really cool idea to have makeup that also helps clear acne. If you are struggling with acne like I have my entire life, Obviously, we want to cure it, but we also want to hide it at the same time. And that's what this foundation is allowing us to do. This has 0.5% salicylic acid. Its purpose, according to the bottle, is for acne medication for the treatment of acne. It's really claiming to be more of like a skin clearing product than makeup, which makes sense coming from Neutrogena, a skincare brand. Now the first downside of this foundation is the very limiting shade range. There's only 14 shades and I am the third darkest color. Obviously there's way more shades darker than me in the world, so I really wish it was a little bit more inclusive because everybody has acne, not just people with light skin. But I wanted to give it a try today to see if it actually works and if it does, then we could just hope for a newly expanded shade range in the maybe near future, huh? So without further ado, let me backtrack to this morning when I looked a hot mess to show you exactly how I applied this foundation. All right, let's do this. Starting from very humble beginnings, my hair's not done, bare face, but I am gonna start with a primer not the primer from Neutrogena, because if you saw my last video, that was a total fail. But I'm going to be using the Full Spectrum by CoverGirl Matte Ambition for my primer today. Now, as you can see, I do have a little blemish going on. This is always my notification system that time of the month. She always lets me know when she's coming by putting a giant zit somewhere on my face. So because of this little break, I really wanted to try the Neutrogena Skin Clearing Oil-Free Makeup Blemish Treatment with Salicylic Acid Foundation. So let's give this a try. I'm the color Caramel number 105, and I'll be applying this with a damp beauty blender. Has a twist up top. No pump, so I'm just gonna pour this directly onto my beauty blender. And let's see how this color goes. Nice. It's surprisingly a perfect match. Even though the shade rage is very lacking, this one actually works perfect for me. Now let's check the coverage by applying a little bit more onto the problem area. Amazing coverage. That is exactly what we want when we have acne prone skin. I need you to hide the blemish and fix it at the same time. I also have these little breakouts on my neck that have been quite annoying, so let's just cover those up as well. So here's the foundation all on its own. I think it went on very nicely. It blended out very easily. I think it's a perfect match for my skin tone. It's very lightweight. I think it makes my skin look very healthy. It's not too matte, but also not too shiny. So now I'm gonna go ahead and finish the rest of my face. Much better. So now I have my full completed face on and at this point, I really like how it looks. I will say just the foundation on its own, I did feel a little washed out, a little bit paler than I usually go for for my foundation. I like to be a little bit more bronzed up. So I did end up using my Fenty Beauty Cashew setting powder to kind of give me a little bit more color. And together I think they worked very nicely. So this foundation is claiming to dissolve oil and help boost delivery of salicylic acid to the source of breakouts for fast results. My skin does feel a little dry right now, which is a very new experience for me being as oily as I am, but I think it's working and sucking up the oils, keeping it under control so it could last all day. The website says to cover the entire affected area with a thin layer one to three times daily. I've always thought it was weird when foundations say to like reapply multiple times throughout the day, like my face is set. 
we've had, you know, we have foundation, we have contour, we have highlight, we have blush. Ain't nobody got time for extra layers. So that's interesting that they're really treating this more like a medication than makeup. So right now I'm loving how it looks. It looks very matte, but I want to see how well this is going to do by the end of the day. So it is currently 1.30 p.m. I'll come back and we'll see how shiny I get. And we're back. It is exactly... 10 p.m. So I've had on this foundation for a total of what eight and a half hours. That's a very full long day And I was so excited when I looked in the mirror and now that I'm in front of all these lights and the cameras I'm a little shinier than like real life, but Still very impressive. Get a good look at that. I'm really only shiny right around here Makeup still intact but let's take it to the oil absorbing sheets that I use in all my videos. This is from CVS and I'm just going to dab this on here and we'll see how much oil comes off. All right, so here's all the oil that came off my skin. You do see a little bit of the foundation on there, but my skin looks nice and matte once again. So if I had to compare it to the other Neutrogena one, I definitely prefer this one. I should have gone with the one for oily skin, obviously. It doesn't claim to be transfer proof, so I'm not exactly mad at the little bit of transfer on here, but I think it did a great job at keeping me matte all day long for over eight full hours. Because I'm so oily, I'm loving this matte finish. Like, it really did a great job at sucking up all that oil. But if you do have dry skin, I would guess that this would probably be a little bit too drying for you. But if you have oily, acne-prone skin and you're one of the 14 shades, you're gonna love this. Although this claims to be $14 on the Neutrogena website, I did check on Target.com and it's only $10.39. That sounds a little bit more reasonable as to what I paid for it. So check around your local drugstore to see who has the best price if you do want to try it. If you have already tried this, please leave a comment down below. Let me know how it worked on your skin over time. This is the first time I've used it, so I can't give you like a full review on how it really benefits my skin, but I do hope that I continue to use this throughout the week and see what it really does for my skin in the long run. Before you go, make sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe. I post two new videos every week, Foundation Fridays on Friday and Curly Hair videos on Sunday. And if you want daily beauty tips, tricks, and just, you know, fun things about my life, you gotta follow me on Instagram at Ms. Bianca Renee. I'll see you guys in my next video. Thanks for watching. Bianca Renee, today.